Hey guys, this is Scott Leroy of Scott Leroy Marketing coming in for another weekly tip. And today's tip is actually on how you can create an opportunity. More importantly, the two different ways that you can create an opportunity. Now, in some cases, if you're trying one way and it doesn't work, or maybe sometimes you might see the little circle going, you know, constantly spinning, try the other way and it may allow you to access it immediately. So there are two ways to actually create an opportunity. The first one will be under the contact section. So I'm going to click on the contacts option underneath our command back in. All right, and it's going to display our entire contacts, you know, basically back in for us to utilize. All right, so this is one of our big portions of our CRM. So once we actually find the name of the contact we want to work with for this opportunity, so I'm going to say it's going to be Bailey on here. So I'll click on Bailey real quick. All right, now we're going to notice on the right hand side, we're going to have all of our different items on that particular contact and one of them will actually say opportunities. All right, so once I click on this, I can actually see all the opportunities that are currently created for, or I can click the create opportunity option at the top right up here. Now this is one method that a lot of agents will utilize so that way they're automatically seeing it's with the, the contact on here. They're able to create the opportunity immediately. That's perfect. So if I click on create opportunity, it's going to give me a pop-up where I can select my market center. So if I'm in multiple market centers, I can make sure I'm choosing the proper one. I can select a team if I'm linked to a team, or in some cases, if you are on a team, it might only allow you to utilize that. All right. And then I can go through and I can obviously see here's the client I'm going to use this for. Here's the opportunity name. Here's, you know, I'm going to put in my commission right on here too. So I'm saying that this is a listing opportunity and this is perfect. So I'll put V2 so I'll know which one to remove. All right, and once I click create on here, that's it. So obviously there are certain items you want to go through and, and double check that everything is 100% correct, but this is one of the easiest ways to create an opportunity immediately from the contact section. All right, so now we can see February 15th, this has been created, that's perfect. Now the other method is actually through the opportunities back in directly. So if I click on opportunities over here on the left-hand side, Here we go. All right, so now I'm actually going to have all my different sales pipelines. So I'm going to have my listing sales pipeline, buyers, leases. All right, now I'll even have some of my analytics down here. But at the top right, I'm going to have a create opportunity option. Now, this is the second way that you can actually create an opportunity. So once again, if you ever run into anything where it might be just a circle spinning and it looks like it's loading constantly, all right, you can try either way to see which one may work. All right, so once I click on create opportunity, it's going to have the exact same pop-up. The only difference is it won't automatically have that client link because obviously we'll need to go through and search for the client and add them in. So now if I want to, I can search for Bailey on here. All right. And now I can actually go through and I can say, Hey, this is where I'm going to create it. So this is V3 All right, for my third version on this one. Now, another big thing to note on here is if you are on a team, all right, if your contacts are under the team contacts, just make sure that you're utilizing the team section up here. All right. Or of course, if you're not on a team, you're perfect. It'll be through kind of your personal contacts that you can utilize this. So once I click create though, it'll create it immediately. It's going to take me to the back end of that opportunity I can use right away and I'm all set. So that's the two different ways that you can actually create an opportunity inside command immediately. So there you go. So that is your KDB command tip for the day.